I've been building in this area since the very beginning, but since I've never been able to come up with a build to sit in the middle, I will turn this land into a lake with a beautiful lake house and everything that comes with it. The first thing I want to do is get rid of all this early game stuff down here. It is kind of sad to tear it all down since it's the first farm I made in this world. Let's quickly make an early game weed farm before we go mining. Oh, the nostalgia. But we need this area to be pretty. Tearing down this bamboo is actually really satisfying though. And I can use it as furnace fuel later on. And this chest has to go too. Oh, I didn't know I still had all of this stuff. I don't know where to put all of this stuff. Let's just dump it out front of my house. This doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's ignore it. And please ignore this too. You saw nothing. Oh, and my reminder to make lake has to go too. It's looking much better now, so I can plan out the lake. So basically I decided where the lake would start and shape the landscape to make it more curved. It will wrap around the hill into the jungle biome. This sadly means I also have to cover up my first mine entrance, but I might have an idea for it later. I will also need to create some sort of dirt border around the lake before I place the water. So let's take a quick trip to the Mega Tiger to stock up on some coarse dirt. I also picked up some mossy cobble and potzel while I was here. And I found this lush tree and I believe I just need to dig underneath it for a lot of rooted dirt. Yes, it's all here. My elytra broke so I went back by boat and I saw the weirdest structure hidden in the trees. Turns out it was a jungle temple built into the cliffs. Since I never actually found one before, I decided to take a look inside. Okay, let's see what we- Ow! Of course I had to fall for the traps. That is so stupid. I knew it was here, but I still fell for it. And there's just some iron in here, okay? Yeah, this is not really- Ow! It happened again. But I will take these redstone components, not saying no to that. Now I can go back to my lake and use my coarse dirt to create a nice outline around it. Yes, it's looking really good so far. This lake is going to have several layers of water and all we need for this job is two buckets. Just gotta spread it out layer by layer until it's done. I think it is the most satisfying thing to see it fill up with water. I can definitely tell it was the right choice to add a lake here. It's exactly what this area was missing. Let's check the map of my base and see how it looks with the lake. Ooh, I love that. But a lake also needs decorating. So I went on a little journey to a warm ocean to pick up some of these corals. Let's make sure we have silk touch and then I can get all of the colors. Gotta make sure not to drown though. <gasps> that was close. I've also brought these buckets so I can catch some cute tropical fish to bring home with me. Come here, fishy, 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 gotcha. I'd also like to get some turtles to live in my lake. There are some living on this beach. Maybe they're gonna follow me if I have seagrass? Yes, they will. But I think it's easier if I just put them on a lead. Wait, it doesn't work. Okay, leads don't work on turtles? I didn't know that. That's dumb. Maybe I just need to trick them and get them in the boat. And now I have a turtle in a boat. I guess I just gotta bring them one by one. I also grabbed some of the turtle eggs. Maybe they're gonna be useful for decoration later on. I think the only way to move the turtle to the lake is to put it in this minecart and let it go. But in the end we're getting a fun roller coaster ride, so that's kind of cool. And the last final stretch, the turtle is almost in the lake. Come on turtle, you can do it! Yes, she made it! New home, the lake! Be free, my friend. And now that both turtles are here, let's name them Sammy and Shelly. Let me know if you get the reference. Now I just need to add everything else to the lake. Corals, kelp and seagrass. I even picked up some sea pickles for some magical underwater light. Swimming through this lake is the most magical thing ever. Such a cozy underwater world. Now remember my first mine entrance I had to cover up? Well now it's still here in the lake, but instead of covering it, I turned it into a secret underwater entrance. I think going mining could actually be fun now. Of course the area around the lake is going to need some work too. I'm going to replace some of that coarse dirt with podzol and the rooted dirt I picked up earlier for some nice variation. Then maybe some custom rocks by the shore and most importantly bushes and ferns. Maybe even some of those mangrove roots could look nice but I'm not sure yet. When I built this cute pond in the village I made reeds with candles and grass so I'm going to carry that little build trick over to my lake. I made these changes all around the lake and now it's looking nice around and under the water. And one of my favorite things is the little bird nests I added here in the bushes. I put the turtle egg in an item frame, put a dead coral around it and now it looks like a nest that a duck made. Look there's another one here. I love this so much. Now all we need is ducks in the game. Then I also made this narrow path leading past the wheat field all around the lake 
back to the jungle. And over there in the jungle is where I'm gonna build my magical lake house. I want to have a beautiful house at the edge of the lake and it will be really useful to me because I want to turn it into a storage room for myself, which is a bit bigger than the one I currently have in my starter house. Because this one here is just a few barrels on the wall which I haven't sorted at all and all the shulkers lying around and even outside of the base is just a huge mess. So the lake house will save me from all this mess, I hope. But I'm glad I still have so much stuff here because I'm going to need it to build the house. There's one special block that I don't have though, which is mushroom stems. I think I need a silk touch axe, which I have. And then I need to place a mushroom on Podzol, add a bit of bone meal, and then I will get those stems. Yes, I guess I can take the other mushroom blocks too. And after I repeated that process many many times, I have tons of stacks and I think that will be plenty for the house. Luckily all the wood I needed was already in my mess of a storage so I can already get started on the build. First thing, let's just get rid of this tree, it's exactly in the way of the house. Let's just chop it down, get all the free wood so I can use it in the build. I don't know what's going on here but, uh, ow. Uh, it wasn't me. They were possessed by zombies. So I marked out the corners of the house. Basically, it's going to start here on the shore and then stretch out into the water itself, which is going to look really cool. So basically, it's all going to be down here. But I think I need to remove some of this mountain here because the house is going to start right there. Yeah, much better, I would say. But now let's bring up those pillars by five or six blocks. And then I'm going to strip them all. Then I'm gonna place some packed mud and mud bricks in between the pillars for a nice muddy foundation. Then for the walls, finally, the mushroom stems I grinded out so hard. I just gotta make sure that I don't break and replace one because then it gets this ugly brown side. Okay, so the first wall's up. It's looking okay so far, but I need to put in a floor and maybe something in the front before I can even decorate the windows. Otherwise, I'm just gonna drown. And the bottom half of the build is done. I decorated all the windows. I made a nice dark oak trim at the top where the second part of the build is gonna go. And then of course I made a beautiful dock and I can arrive here with my boat and I hope I can get on. Yep, I can get on. And it's gonna be so nice. I can do some fishing here, relax, watch the beautiful lake, watch the turtle swim by. Oh no, the turtle got stuck in my boat. That's so sad. We need to free the turtle. But we also need to build the second part of the house including the majestic mangrove roof. Be free, my friend. I built the second floor one block outwards with a lot of decorated windows and then a beautiful fantasy roof, which is made of mangrove wood mixed with red terracotta and a tall stone chimney. This is looking so magical, especially with the curved detailing at the top. It looks like a magical fairy mansion. And it fits in so well with the lake. Look at the reflection. It's so good. One thing I did forget to add though is the windows. And I think magenta stained glass panes would look really nice. Who knew that adding a bit of detail like glass would make such a big difference? This build is looking really magical now. One thing I still need to sort out though is how to get to the house. I can arrive here by boat at the docks but it's not very useful to me if I need to go to my storage room really quick. So I made the main entrance on this side here. I'm quickly going to make a path leading down from my starter house and connecting to my lake path. I'm going to continue this stone block path from up there and mix in some other blocks like cobblestone and andesite. Then a bit of decoration like some fences and plants. Of course the lanterns because we don't want mobs to spawn. Yes, I think this will work. I'll go down here and follow the path to my new lake house. And I got a bit carried away and turned this entire hill into a beautiful flower field full of white flowers and ferns and grass. I never knew what to put on this hill because I didn't want any trees covering my starter house. But now it looks so magical. I made two floors in this house. I think down here is going to be my storage room and then up the ladder is going to be my cozy lake house interior. And a random grass block apparently. Be gone. Let's do the storage first. I'd like to do this one differently than usual. I'm gonna place the chest like this, two blocks apart so I can walk between them. Looking really nice so far. Now I just need some item frames. I learned this trick from lockdown and it's a really nice way to label the chests. I can see the items from both sides. Now I have the chest for basic storage like wood and stone, but I also want an area for flowers.
I can keep all my beautiful plants in here and over in this area, added some barrels on the wall and more storage on shelves for the random blocks I have lying around. To make this place look a bit more inviting, I want to make a fluffy carpet on the floor. Maybe a base of magenta wool and then some carpets in some spot for a bit of variation. Yes, this is looking really cozy. Now for the second floor, the cozy interior. I kind of want to keep this open, but I still want to decorate it a bit. Yes, that's an improvement. It's looking so beautiful and lush now. Let's make a big comfy couch here using smooth quartz. Add a little carpet here and it's done. We don't have a TV because it hasn't been invented yet, but it's a beautiful place to hang out or read a book. I also made a little desk here with a view of the lake, although we can't really see much with all the plants in the way, but it's still nice. Then for this empty spot, I have a bit of a silly idea. I want to build a huge open aquarium here. It won't need any glass to stop the water because of the waterlogged stairs and slabs at the bottom. This is so fun, I kind of just want to go swimming in there myself. I did try to put some tropical fish in there but they kept falling out and dying. But I might be able to get a turtle in here because they can survive without water if it falls out. I do have these turtle eggs and I think I can hatch them on sand but maybe they can hatch in here too. And here we have two beautiful turtles that have already grown up and they love their new home. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? With the interior done, I want to add some more decorations to the lake. I thought a boathouse would look nice over in this area. It's a simple spruce or mangrove hut which is going to store all of my boats that I will need for my many journeys and adventures. Or maybe just for some chill fishing on the lake. I can't wait to go here and select a boat for another of my reckless adventures. All my elytras broke so boats are my best friend for now. And now I'm going to relax and catch some fish. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye!